Uh, Saeed, if I can come to you first, a very senior European politician saying that Mr Cameron is essentially lying to the British public using scare tactics. What do you say to that? Well, Vivian Redden calls it populism. I think most people would call it democracy. When I knock on the doors and speak to voters, there is a very real concern about immigration. People aren't against immigration. They understand that the country's benefited from immigration. But there are two concerns that come across. One is the share numbers. And the second issue is the so-called benefit tourism. The latest figures show that there are 55,000 children who live outside the UK who are claiming £55 million in child benefit. But There's a real concern there. Talking about the numbers that we were expecting to flood onto these shores once the 1st of January had passed from Romania and Bulgaria, have we seen those kind of numbers? Uh, what we're talking about here is not the, the relative numbers who are coming, but the, the, the real fear that people have. So when you knock on doors, you know, people look at what happened since 2004 when we let in the accession states. There's a real concern over numbers. And in certain areas, it's worked perfectly well. People have integrated. Other areas, we get voters who tell us they can't get an appointment with their doctors due to sheer okay. numbers. OK, Mary, let's bring you in on this. Do you think David Cameron has been telling the public myths? I, I think he has to a very large extent. I think we need to recognise that two thirds of those who come into this country don't come from the European Union. So there is an exaggeration there. And I think there's also the problem that um, David Cameron seems to be using the whole immigration debate to conflate it with membership of the European Union. So there is, I think, in people's minds a bit of a confusion here because membership of the European Union actually is nothing to do with immigration. They are two completely separate subjects. But I don't think David Cameron always is, makes that clear. And I think there's okay. a very deliberate, uh, that there's a deliberate confusion, I think, going on there. But talking about numbers, why should people at home think that Labour's uh, immigration policy is going to be any better? I mean, we only have to look back to 2004, Jack Straw admitted it just recently, that it was a disaster when we, when we opened up the floodgates to the polls. It wasn't a disaster. In fact, a, a lot of we those people... We were expecting 13,000. We, we got more a than million. We, we had more than we were expecting. But a lot of those those people actually made a huge contribution to our society and we should never forget that. And actually there's evidence still that those who come from the European Union do actually make more of, more of a contribution and actually claim fewer benefits. There's a study out recently by University College London which shows that, which actually shows that migrants from the EU claim 45% less benefits than the equivalent in indigenous population, okay. if you like to call them that. Okay, so Mary touched on it very briefly. Is David Cameron worried about the UKIP effect? No, what he's very concerned about is, you know, we as politicians have to respond to what people are telling us on the doorstep. People aren't against immigration, but since, you know, a, a consequence of being a member of the EU is the free movement of people. And there are concerns over the free movement of people, and we have to address those concerns. People who come to Britain, like my parents, who came here to work and contribute to British society, people welcome those. What they are very worried about are, one, is sheer numbers, and two, benefit tourism. Vivian Rennie calls it populism. I call it democracy. And how about Labour? Are they, are they concerned? We, we are concerned and we're on record of being concerned about immigration into this country, as we should be, as everybody should UK? be. Um, UKIP is less of a problem for us, some for obvious reasons, um, but I think actually, I think personally, everybody should be concerned about UKIP because I do think they peddle very often a message which is not democratic and which is populist and which does play on people's worst fears and I think we all need to be concerned about that. Okay, Mary Honeyball and Saeed Kamal, many thanks for your thoughts this evening.